Hello, I'm Igor and welcome to my tech fan. Kingun sent me another two products for the review and uh, this is a uh, Van Bam Pex or PEX sheet and uh, LD LEC adhesive spray. Now first about Van Bam. Uh, I already tested and did a review on this uh, channel of this sheet and I really like it. Uh, this PEX is uh, great even for PETG because regular PA, uh, PETG may stick too good to it and you may damage it. So this is great for it and according to the website their magnetic base is uh, very heat resistant. It can withstand the temperature up to 150 degrees Celsius uh, until the regular magnetic base is uh, it isn't to go above 100 degrees. Uh, this is something that I cannot test because uh, usually I go up to 100 or max 110 degrees Celsius on the bed surfaces. About LDLAC, uh, it's a heavy spray. According to the website, it is uh, great for, to reduce warping for PLA, PETG, TPU, ABS, and peak filaments. <laughs> well, uh, PLA, PETG, and TPU doesn't warp even on, uh, without this spray on open printer. Uh, peak, I cannot print peak. Uh, I don't have printer for this filament. So basically, uh, what I can test is printing ABS. So I print something uh, on open printer to have some warping using uh, just a regular uh, surface and then I will repeat the printing using LDLAC and see if I will get uh, less warping. That's the content of the box. So this is that uh, PX sheet, uh, even the, with the King Room logo and it is one sided, on the other side is the steel and this is that magnetic base which arrives with the 3M sticker and I have to remove it and I have to glue it to the aluminium base. And it also arrives with this steel wool and this is very important to activate a little bit the surface with this uh, wool and that actually it works. Uh, my oldest printer is uh, Pulsar Maxi S with the smooth PI sheet and uh, maybe a year ago uh, one side uh, lost the adhesion completely. I even wanted to, to buy uh, another one but uh, when I did a review of the Van Bam, I used this steel wood on that sheet and basically it is like new so again I have the great bed adhesion on both sides. And this is that LD LAC adhesive spray. Let's see the installation process. Since my magnetic base is already installed, I will show you some older footage. So first step is to clean the aluminum plate with isopropyl alcohol and then remove the sticker approximately 2 or 3 centimeters. And it is very important to start with the sticking parallel with the edge of the aluminum plate. And then use some flat but not sharp object to press all the air below the sticker. You can use credit card or something like that. And after this our magnetic base is ready and we can place the steel sheet on it. And now activating the surface with the steel wool. Now I believe that steel wool just scratched the top of the surface uh, so it's, if it gets old it will just scratch some thin layer and then we will get again a nice active surface. But don't do this too often to your PI sheet. And of course it is very important to clean the sheet after this and before every printing. And of course after installation you have to do the manual bed leveling again. If you have a beer or sear touch, of course it will touch the top of new surface, that's good. But uh, just in case you should uh, do the outer, new outer leveling mesh, just in case if uh, we, this magnetic base has a little bit different thickness on one side compared to the other or something like that. Zero point seven kilogram, and I know already that uh, adhesion to the magnetic base is great. The adhesion to the magnetic base is important because if you print something which you would like to warp, but it sticks good to the bed, it will prevent uh, lifting on the corners. But actually, I will test with two filaments. One will be Creality's Sear ABS, but the second will be the non-oiling filament, which is great for food safe applications because it has a certificate and for cleaning it can survive the boiling temperatures. But when I was testing it, uh, I had some problems with the bed adhesion, so we will see if this LD lac will help or not. I'm starting with ABS printing on the rough surface without this LD lac, and the temperatures will be 250 on the nozzle because I need a good layer adhesion. On the bed I will set to 90 degrees Celsius, which is actually in the middle of the temperature range. Usually ABS I print on 100 degrees Celsius, but uh, here I want to see some difference on rough surface and using this uh, adhesive spray. This 
the start is good, so the first layer is perfect. This is a time lapse of approximately 30 minutes. Object will be printed soon, so I have to prepare my pulling test. And immediately I want to start with this pulling test until the bed is hot. So 0 0.1 approximately is a little bit weak, so definitely I will print uh, ABS on 100 degrees Celsius at least on the bed surface. But at least I can now compare using the same settings with the uh, LDLAC. But first I want to print something with non oil and non oil on clean surface. It started correctly, I was worried a little bit because the first line of the skirt didn't stick good. And theoretically this is now a success, I can see some warping on the corners. So we will see in the second printing with this Adilac will it be better. And after approximately 20 minutes the printing failed, it deattached from the bed surface. And I have to stop the printing. Mm, a little bit weak. Well, the warping is quite obvious and of course it didn't even finish the printing. Let's see if we can save this with the LDLAC. Even the skirt looks better now. The next 30 minutes was without any problems and printing was finished correctly. Printing is finished a few seconds ago. Zero point zero eighty five, little bit weak, but it was printed correct. But let's see the skirt. It could be a little bit better. Uh, the difference is quite obvious, but even on the bottom surfaces. And now back to ABS, but without cleaning the bed. Maybe you can see the layer of this slack in the middle. And I'm starting the printing using the same juke code like the first printing. No surprises here, perfect first layer. I wasn't here, the printing was finished approximately a minute ago. Wow, this was strong, more than a kilogram. So this is definitely very strong, yes, for the filling too. But I will wait until it cools down, because the proper method to remove the ABS object is uh, to wait until the bed surface cools down, and then it will be much easier to remove it. Thanks to this uh, leg, probably uh, it will stay stick. And that's good because uh, I like to do different adhesive, usually glue stick, when I print some bigger objects and I'm expecting some power loss. Um, in this case, uh, even if the bed cools down, the object will be stick to the bed. The bed is at 44 degrees Celsius, but I heard some cracks and that where it shrinks, uh, then it will be much easier to remove the ABS. Let's see what is the case now. Yes. That's how it should work. Let's see the skirt. And it sticks. And this is great bed adhesion even now. Oh, it's already down. And now quick occlusions. Well, I believe it is very rare that somebody is happy to see warping on his printing. But in this case, I was happy because I can clearly see the difference between these two printings. And uh, basically with the PEX sheet, you cannot go wrong. It is great. I'm using it on several printers and uh, it is great even for the ABS. Uh, the proper method for, to prevent the warping is not only using the adhesive spray or glue stick, but uh, other methods too. Use an enclosure, adding a brim, reduce the part cooling or something like that. But actually I'm using different adhesives, spray or glue stick uh, on my bigger pr uh, printings because uh, if the printing time is, I know, one or two days uh, and if, if I have a uh, power loss, 
In that case, even if the bed goes down, the object will stay stick to the bed. Okay, keep this in mind because uh, in most cases, if you use carbonum or texture surfaces or something like that, uh, when the object goes down properly, you know, uh, in most cases, it will be removed from the object and you cannot resume the printing. But that was my experience with these two products. Thank you, King Room, for sending them for testing. And I hope I could give you some useful information. Thank you for watching and happy printing.